Hey everyone, welcome. It's great to have you with us, especially if you're new here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So, why doesn't the world's most advanced bomber have a tail? It's not just a weird design choice. It's actually a clue to how the B-2 Spirit became the most invisible warplane in the world. If you look at it from behind, something's clearly missing. No vertical fin, no rudder, no tail like you'd see on a regular jet or fighter. That missing part isn't an accident, it's intentional. You see, every straight edge on an aircraft reflects radar waves. And when you're flying deep into enemy territory, like over Moscow or Beijing, the last thing you want is to show up on radar. The B-2 wasn't designed for speed. It was built to be invisible, not just to radar, but to infrared sensors and even the human eye. But here's the twist. Removing the tail made the plane incredibly hard to fly. So, how did they fix that? And why hasn't any other country built anything like it? The B-2 Spirit doesn't look like any other bomber out there. No tail, no sharp angles. Just a smooth, flat-flying triangle that slices through the sky like a shadow. It officially entered service in 1997, but its roots go back to the Cold War. It was designed to fly straight into Soviet airspace without being seen. The US Air Force wanted a plane that could carry nuclear weapons and avoid detection by radar, infrared, or satellites. That level of stealth came at a huge cost, over $2 billion per plane. Only 21 were ever built, and today, just 20 remain in service. Yes, it's expensive and complicated to maintain. Most of the time, it's kept in climate-controlled hangars at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. But the price tag isn't what makes the B-2 special. It's what it can do. The Spirit can carry both nuclear and conventional bombs and can fly over 6,000 nautical miles without refueling or more than 10,000 with a tanker. Its wingspan is 52 meters, but it's eerily quiet in the air. Thanks to its stealthy shape, it can sneak into enemy airspace and hit high-value targets, like bunkers or mobile missile launchers without setting off radar alarms. And here's the kicker. Only the United States has this aircraft. No other country has ever built anything like it. One obvious visual clue that you're looking at something truly different is the missing tail. That's because the B-2's shape doesn't follow normal flight design rules. It was built for one purpose, not to be seen. So, to understand why the tail had to go, we need to understand what a tail does. Most planes have tails, it's not optional. The vertical fins and horizontal stabilizers in the back help keep the aircraft steady and under control. Think of them like feathers on an arrow. Without them, things get chaotic. But on the B-2, those stabilizing surfaces are gone, and that's very much on purpose. Why? Because traditional tails create sharp angles and flat surfaces that bounce radar waves right back at the enemy. That lights up the aircraft like a Christmas tree on their screens. Since stealth was priority number one, designers at Northrop Grumman took a radical approach. They got rid of the tail completely and built the plane as a flying wing. And that's exactly what it sounds like. Just a wing. No separate body, no tail. Just one continuous smooth surface from end to end. The entire aircraft is shaped to deflect radar signals in every direction instead of bouncing them back. The idea isn't new. Back in the 1940s, Jack Northrop, yes that Northrop, experimented with tailless bombers like the YB-35 and YB-49. They looked futuristic, but the tech to control them just didn't exist. Without onboard computers, they were way too unstable to fly safely. Fast forward 40 years, and digital flight systems finally made the flying wing a reality. But it's not just about radar stealth. Getting rid of the tail also reduces drag, which means the B-2 can fly longer. That smooth surface slices through the air without the turbulence caused by traditional fins. The engine intakes are buried deep inside the wing, and even the exhaust is hidden and shielded to reduce its heat signature, making it harder to detect with infrared sensors. Every curve, angle and surface on the B-2 is designed with stealth in mind. Now, here's the catch. By removing the tail, the plane became aerodynamically unstable. In fact, without constant corrections, it would just fall out of the sky. So, how does the B-2 stay airborne? That's where the real genius comes in. A computer system that reacts faster than any human pilot could. The truth is, without those onboard computers, the B-2 wouldn't be able to fly at all. A tailless flying wing is naturally unstable, 
It doesn't want to fly straight or stay level. Most pilots wouldn't stand a chance trying to fly it manually, especially at high speeds and altitudes. That's why the B-2 uses fly-by-wire technology, where the pilot's controls are interpreted and adjusted by computer systems in real time. The computers constantly make small adjustments to keep the plane stable and on course. So, why doesn't the world's most advanced bomber have a tail? It's not just a design quirk. It's a major clue to how the B-2 Spirit became the most invisible warplane on Earth. When you look at it from behind, something's missing. No vertical fin, no rudder, no tail like on regular fighter jets or airliners. That missing piece isn't an accident. It's intentional. Every straight edge on a plane reflects radar, and if you're flying deep into enemy territory, like Moscow or Beijing, you don't want to be seen. The B-2 wasn't built for speed, it was built to disappear. Off radar, heat sensors, and even the human eye. But here's the twist. Removing the tail made flying the B-2 nearly impossible. So how did they solve that? And why hasn't any other country built something like it? The B-2 spirit looks like nothing else. No tail. No sharp angles. Just a smooth flat triangle that slices through the sky like a shadow. It entered service in 1997, but its origins go back to the Cold War. It was designed to fly straight into Soviet airspace without being detected. The US Air Force wanted a plane that could carry nuclear weapons while staying invisible to radar, infrared, and even satellites. That goal came with a huge price tag, over $2 billion per aircraft. Only 21 were ever built, and just 20 remain in service. It's expensive, hard to maintain, and usually kept inside climate-controlled hangars at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. But it's not the cost that makes the B-2 special. It's what it can do. It can carry both conventional and nuclear bombs, fly over 6,000 nautical miles without refueling, and over 10,000 with a tanker. Its 52-meter wingspan glides almost silently through the air. Thanks to its stealth shape, it can reach high-value enemy targets, like hidden bunkers or mobile missile launchers, without triggering radar alarms. And here's the crazy part. Only the United States has it. No other country has ever built anything remotely like it. The biggest visual clue that you're looking at something different is that missing tail, because the B-2 doesn't follow normal flight rules. It was built with one goal in mind, not to be seen. To understand why the tail had to go, we need to understand what a tail actually does. Most aircraft have tails. They're not optional. They keep the plane stable. The vertical fin and horizontal stabilizers in the back help control direction, balance, and prevent spinning out like feathers on an arrow. But the B-2 has none of that. On purpose. Why? Radar. Traditional tails create sharp edges and flat surfaces that reflect radar waves straight back, lighting up the aircraft like a Christmas tree. The B-2's mission is to sneak deep into enemy airspace without getting caught. So, anything that reflects radar, especially vertical surfaces, is a liability. So, the engineers at Northrop Grumman took a bold approach. They got rid of the tail entirely and built a flying wing. That means exactly what it sounds like. Just one smooth, continuous wing. No fuselage, no tail. Just one sleek surface designed to scatter radar signals instead of bouncing them back. The idea wasn't new. Back in the 1940s, Jack Northrop, yep, same company, experimented with tailless bombers like the YB-35 and YB-49. They looked futuristic, but the tech to control them didn't exist. Without onboard computers, they were too unstable to fly safely. Fast forward 40 years, and digital flight systems finally made the dream possible. The B-2's tailless shape doesn't just help with stealth. It also reduces drag, helping it stay in the air longer. Its smooth surface cuts through the air cleanly, without the turbulence tails create. The engine inlets are buried deep in the wings, and even the exhaust is hidden to reduce heat signature and avoid infrared detection. Every curve and surface of the B-2 is designed with stealth in mind. But removing the tail made the plane aerodynamically unstable. Without constant adjustments, it would literally fall out of the sky. So, how does the B-2 stay airborne? That's where the real genius comes in. Instead of the pilot manually adjusting everything, every movement of the joystick or rudder pedal goes to a flight computer. The computer instantly calculates what needs to happen and sends signals to tiny actuators that adjust control surfaces across the wing. We're talking hundreds of tiny corrections per second. If the plane starts to pitch down, the computer tweaks the elevators and ailerons to bring it back up. If it yaws to the left, 
It might deploy a spoiler on the right wing to slow that side down and realign. The pilot still gives inputs, but the computer handles all the complex math instantly. And since the B2 has no vertical stabilizers, it has to get creative about turning and staying balanced. It uses split rudders, panels on the wing's rear edge that open like clamshells, to create drag on one side, helping it turn or correct its path. There are also spoilers that pop up to disrupt airflow and slow one wing during a turn, giving the plane smooth, controlled banking. Even the engines play a part. If more power is pushed through the left engine than the right, the bomber gently yaws to the right, like paddling harder on one side of a canoe. All of this is managed by a central flight computer using sensors, gyroscopes, and algorithms that constantly predict and correct instability, before the pilot even notices anything's wrong. It's not just smart, it's essential. Without this system, even a bit of turbulence or a sidewind could send the plane into a spin. But with it, the B-2 glides through the sky smoothly, even gracefully. And its biggest strength is staying off radar. With no vertical stabilizer and no sharp edges, radar waves don't bounce back, they scatter. That makes the B-2 almost invisible to most radar systems. Its radar cross-section is often compared to a large bird or even a marble. Not because it is that small, but because that's how it looks on radar screens. Even advanced radar might only catch a vague flicker, and by then, it's probably too late. Now let's talk altitude. The B-2 flies high, usually above 50,000 feet. From that height it can watch strike and vanish without getting close to enemy defenses. And since it doesn't need to fly low to avoid radar, it saves fuel, flies straighter, and stays in the air longer. With just one tank of fuel, it can fly over 6,000 nautical miles. Add mid-air refueling, and it can literally circle the globe. That's why the US can launch a mission from Missouri, drop bombs in the Middle East, and return, without ever landing abroad. It can carry 40,000 pounds of conventional or nuclear weapons, including smart bombs, bunker busters, and stealth cruise missiles. In real missions, the B-2 doesn't just sneak in, it strikes with precision and vanishes again. Sometimes before enemy commanders even know something's wrong. All of this, without ever getting close, without dogfights, without missiles, just long-range precision and overwhelming power without detection. That's what makes the B-2 more than a bomber, it's a ghost with teeth. But it's not perfect. First off, the B-2 cannot fly without its computers. It's aerodynamically unstable by nature. If the flight control system fails, it's almost impossible to fly. There's no manual backup. It's either computers or nothing. Then there's the cost. Each B-2 costs about $2.1 billion to build, more than most Navy destroyers. And that's just the beginning. Maintaining a B-2 is like keeping a space-ready supercar in perfect condition. Every flight requires hours of maintenance. Its stealth paint, called RAM or radar absorbent material, has to be regularly inspected and reapplied. Even a small crack or misaligned panel can increase radar visibility. It needs special climate-controlled hangars because humidity and dust can damage its stealth coating. And while it's stealthy and precise, it's not fast. It flies below the speed of sound, around 630 miles per hour, slower than many Cold War-era bombers like the B-1 Lancer. It can't turn sharply and doesn't have any dogfighting agility. It's built to fly high, fly straight, and stay hidden. Also, it's not totally invisible. In broad daylight against a clear sky, the B-2 can be seen with the naked eye. And if it's spotted, it's got no onboard defensive weapons, no guns, no missiles, just countermeasures and evasive moves. So if it gets caught off guard, or flies into the wrong airspace alone, it is vulnerable. That's why missions are meticulously planned, usually at night, with full support from tankers, satellites and reconnaissance aircraft. The B-2's power lies in not being seen, but that comes with a high cost and big risks. And the B-2 won't be around forever. Its successor is already flying, the B-21 Raider. At first glance, it looks almost identical. Same flying wing, same soft curves, still no tail. But underneath, it's a whole new generation. Built by Northrop Grumman and unveiled in 2022, the B-21 is designed to be smaller, cheaper, and easier to maintain than the B-2. While the B-2 needs custom parts and climate-controlled hangars, the B-21 uses modular systems and coatings that are quicker and cheaper to replace. It was built with China and Russia in mind, designed to strike deep into high threat areas with better survivability. 
Test flights started in 2023, and the United States Air Force plans to buy at least 100 Raiders, five times more than the total number of B-2S ever made. But even as the Raider takes flight, it owes everything to the B-2's legacy. Same stealth look, same flying wing, still no tail. Because in the future of warfare, being seen is the biggest weakness of all. So why doesn't the B-2 have a tail? Because it was never meant to be seen. A tail reflects radar. It gives the enemy something to lock onto, a place to aim, a place to fire. The B-2 gives you nothing. Its shape bends radar waves. Its surface absorbs them. Its entire flight path is designed not to impress, but to disappear. What it lacks in agility or speed, it makes up for with range and silence. It doesn't need to fly fast. It just needs to fly unseen. And it's been doing that for over 30 years. Still the only aircraft on Earth that can fly into defended airspace and drop precision bombs without ever being tracked. But now, with the B-21 Raider coming, that legacy continues, tailless, and with even fewer traces. Let us know what you think. Will other countries ever catch up and build something to match the B-2? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to X News like the video and drop a comment.